Project 6, electrical to mechanical energy. We will use this circuit. We will insert one of the three fans on the motor. Just slide it on carefully. And you'll see that the fan, each fan has three parts. The fan itself, the motor top, and then the motor shaft cap. But you don't have to assemble any of those. Now we will hit the press switch. And the motor and fan will rotate at high speed. As electrical energy from the batteries is converted to mechanical energy by the motor. And then hit the switch again to turn the fan off. Project 7, proximity sensor. We will replace the press switch with the read switch, number 83, and then use the magnet and place it near the read switch. Be careful that you don't do not contact the blade. And when the magnet is just at the right in the right position, it will trigger the read switch and cause the fan to turn on. If I remove the magnet, the fan will turn off. P place it back on the or near the read switch and the fan will turn back on. Like what I said in project three, the magnet does not have to be directly touching the read switch. Its magnetic field can activate it and spin the fan. And there are many practical applications for proximity sensing, like blow drying your car in a car wash. Project eight, Newton's first law of motion. This circuit will give an example of the first law of motion that was conceived by Sir Isaac Newton. Using the preceding circuit, we replace the read switch with the 61 press switch, the momentary switch that must be held down. We will push the switch down and the motor will spin at full speed. But when I release the switch, the motor immediately slows down and comes to a stop. This reflects on the first law of motion, which states that an object will either remain at rest, like it is now, or, when the switch is held down in this case, move at a constant velocity until it is acted upon by a force. And that force in this case will be the friction in the motor as the switch is released that stops the fan. If I was to hold the press switch down, the motor would spin continuously until battery power runs out, assuming I did not release the switch. Project 9, Newton's Second Law of Motion. This project will explain about the second law of motion that has been conceived by Sir Isaac Newton. We will use this circuit and we will remove the end cap, the fan cap from the fan, and then place the fan and make sure that the uh, shaft cover is secure. Carefully place the fan on the motor. And then we will hold down the press switch for 10 seconds and release it. Now make sure that you or no one else is in the way of the fan. And now that launched early, but the fan launched high up in the air. But this project explains about the second law of motion, which states that acceleration is produced when a force acts on a mass. In this case, the mass is the fan blade and the force is air pressure, which is under the fan blade. It's kind of like a helicopter. A helicopter 
flies, even though it doesn't have wings, because the rotors above it force air down to push the helicopter in the air. For some reason, I didn't have to hold down the press switch for 10 seconds, but or even release it, but that's the principle.